September 14 marks the 13th anniversary of Patrick Swayze's death due to pancreatic cancer but, years before, he had a narrow brush with the Grim Reaper. Swayze was reportedly flying with his two dogs from California to Las Vegas when he was forced to make an emergency landing in Arizona. Swayze was undeniably a man of many talents, one of which was being an experienced, licensed pilot who flew himself around regularly. However, in June 2000 a routine trip went awry as he was traveling with his two dogs. AirSafe reported that when the plane was cruising, Swayze heard a loud sound, following which his ears popped and his dogs began barking. The pilot began searching for a suitable landing site as he feared he had lost cabin pressurization, and allegedly believed he had spotted an airport below him. He began to descend but soon realized he was about to land on a deserted street rather than a runway. Just before the plane touched down on the road, the right wing hit a streetlight which ripped off a four-foot section of the aircraft, according to AirSafe. Once the wheels touched down, the plane also allegedly hit another street light, a stop sign and an electrical utility box before coming to a stop. Swayze had reportedly landed in a housing complex that was under construction in Arizona, but thankfully neither the actor nor his pets were seriously injured. Talking to CNN at the time, Swayze recalled being so focused on putting it on the ground safely that I don't even remember hitting anything. Unfortunately this wouldn't be the last emergency landing for Swayze, as six years later, he once again found himself in the air with mechanical issues, although this time he was not alone. Lisa Nimi Swayze, the ghost actor's widow, recalled the shocking incident on her website as she was the pilot on December 27, 2006. The couple, along with their two dogs, were headed to New Mexico from California on a beautiful, sunny day when suddenly, the right engine started having problems. Lisa decided to turn back to California as the situation continued to deteriorate, but when a loud sound came from the right engine she was forced to shut it down completely. She recalled, I looked at Patrick, our eyes were wide. I guess we're landing now, I said. The couple survived that flight, but just three years later Swayze tragically died on September 14th. 20th months after receiving his original cancer diagnosis. Don't miss, the Dirty Dancing star defined an era of romantic cinema and was even named the sexiest man alive by people in 1991. The ever-humble Swayze admitted he wasn't entirely convinced that this title belonged to him in a 1995 interview with 60 Minutes Australia. He shared, at first it was like hey, wow, that's cool. But I know it's a lie because we all know that Sean Connery is the sexiest man alive. Although Swayze had experienced some cinematic success, his true breakthrough arrived in 1987 with the hit film Dirty Dancing, which earned him a lister status almost overnight. His growing reputation on screen and stage earned Swayze the status of sex symbol and a staggering fortune. The star was reportedly worth a staggering $40 million, 33 million pounds, at the time of his sudden death in 2009. He had been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in 2007, after experiencing some stomach pains and immediately began treatment. Despite the devastating diagnosis, the actor returned to screen the next year for the indie film Powder Blue in what became his last film role. 